Hello my beautiful Libras. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rita Wells and I'm going to be doing your reading for the month of July. I know it's a little bit late. I've been really busy with readings and other channel messages that hit me out of the blue that I need to put on the channel. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, welcome. If you are new, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am running a sweepstakes where you can win my deck which is my beautiful tarot deck that I created. And I'm also giving away two readings uh, to win. If you like and subscribe and comment on the video, that's linked down below with the sweepstakes. And if you are returning, you know I love you guys. I totally do. I, I'm so grateful uh, for hitting 4,000. You guys make it happen. You guys are helping me with my mission. It's really important to me. And um, I truly appreciate you. So yeah, take a look down below if you want to know more about me. I am running readings again. Um, if you want to work with me, I do coaching. So let's get started. This is for Libra, the last but not the forgotten. <laughs> I need to take off my glasses. I feel more comfortable without them. What is going on with Libra? I can't see. I'm getting this weird bifocal thing. I must be like, I have to get closer to 50. Libra, you are being called to a new path here with the Page of Wands. Let's take a look. What is going on for my beautiful Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on for Libra? We have this came out as well, too. The Knight of Cups in reverse with the Five of Swords. So maybe some pulled back energy that you're ending conflict. You've taken your cup away from a certain situation to heal any conflict in your life. Let's take a look. What's going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We're going to take a look at headspace, heart space, actions, and outcome. Heart, what? not ready. Headspace, thank you. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The heart space. Oh, got quite a bit for heart space. But Spirit wants me to take it. All right. We have the Emperor. Clarified with the Queen of Cups in reverse, with the Hierophant in reverse, and the Five of Cups. So, wow, a lot's going on in your heart space, Libra. I feel that your divine counterpart has been emotionally manipulated and has ended a situation, and they're very regretful about how they treated you, and that's going on in their heart space. Could be your heart space, their heart space, because this is, this is general, right? Let's take a look at the actions and the intentions. What is going on with the actions, intentions? We have the Seven of Wands in reverse, and the outcome, we have the Five of Wands, some fighting energy. So look, this is like some energy that you've been working on yourself, Libra. I feel that you've been getting very focused on yourself. You're just focused on your creating and manifesting that one star. You've got a whole bunch of stars around you, but you're like, I am focused on this. And in your actions and your intentions, it's like, Things are breaking down. You're breaking down your walls. You're, you're healing. You're looking at things really differently. And you're fighting for what you desire. You know that this was just training. The five of ones is also about training for success. You know, <sighs> yeah, sometimes it's really hard to get back into like a working out routine. You got to push yourself. You've, but if you really want something, sometimes you have to put that action in, you know, and I feel like that's what you've been doing, Libra. Let's clarify a little bit more. I'm not sure about this energy. It's a little bit different because when I connect what's going on in your heart space I feel like you know what's going on intuitively Libra I feel like you have this inner knowing but it's like I don't sorry it's like it's not like you don't care but you're like I don't know like I don't care like I'm feeling this with my counterpart but I don't really care god it's so freaking hot here uh, not that you don't care but it's like I don't know there's something going on what is this eight of pentacles let's take a look four of cups in reverse What's this emperor, the queen of cups, the whole shebang stuff in the heart space that came out? Of course, it's clarified by two. We have the ace of cups in reverse and strength. So something was unrequited love. And you're holding strength in it. I feel you've gained a lot of rooting in what's emotional um, manipulation. <clears throat> I feel I still think there's regrets here. We're going to clarify because that there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in the heart space here for Libra. What is going on in the actions here with the Seven of Wands? We have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. What is the Five of Wands? Fighting. Battling. For your new beginning. Yeah. I feel like you're leaving something behind here, Libra. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse again. I think that came up earlier. Yeah, it fell out. Pulling your, your love back from a situation. 
with the five of swords again from conflict you don't want to deal with any conflict in your life listen Libra. you're like pretty much done libra likes justice they like karmic justice they like balance they like to stay balanced within themselves and anything that causes any of that trauma drama you're pretty much over it you see things clearly in this situation here right we got empress here in reverse and we have some karmic energy coming up this karmic person by not giving to the situation and this deception here with the seven of swords we have you know being blocked and blocking this energy here wasn't helping you rise in your empress okay was not helping you rise and you see that clearly now by engaging in that kind of energy so i feel like you've realized well if i don't engage in it then my counterpart won't engage in it that's kind of what i'm getting we have here this eight of um pentacles so you've decided this month you're going to focus on yourself and you're coming out of a place of apathy where you haven't been able to move in the past it's been very difficult because you wanted to like you kept going around and around in a circle back to the same vibration back to what happened with your counterpart i feel this is really a twin flame reading for you libra and you're like you want to move towards justice but in order to move towards justice if especially if libra is your north node remember watches for your north north node as well but not just north node but in relationships in general you have libra in your chart it's really about balance and justice but to get balance and justice you have to be able to move into new vibrations over and over and over again and leave things behind that does not you know what tips the scale one way is going to tip it the other way and you're always doing this back and forth energy the universe does that the earth does that too to balance herself yeah the ten of pentacles you want a solid foundation i feel like you've been working for that and you're focused on building your own foundation your own life manifesting your dreams um, getting out of a place of apathy where i think it may have kept you stuck in whatever's happened in the past with your with your partner with your person with your twin with your soulmate and i feel like you're even open to um other things yeah the ten of cups is in reverse here it never came to fruition that ten of cups okay when i made these cards i made the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups very similar if you look at this and the ten of pentacles is more cartoony because it's fine it's like structure but anybody can have structure anybody can have a solid financial foundation and family and to build those homes that's fine but the real abundance is when you have god's love which is that 10th cup and look like it's just so much more beautiful and so yeah you're you're working on that that piece this legacy piece for yourself but this god's love and spirit's love is not quite there it, it's not there yet but you're okay with that right now you're building your foundation with the four of wands so let's take a look at this emperor energy you're feeling that this your emperor was either emotionally manipulated you may feel that they that, that you're ending any kind of tradition that may have happened with that person maybe you wanted a home with that person maybe you wanted a traditional marriage life and now you're like you know what i kind of regret that because i don't know if that's even what i want um you're seeing where it was unrequited love and you're holding your strength because you know that you deserve god's love and this person wasn't able to give it so you're giving it to yourself What's going on with this person? You're feeling changes with your person. Things came to a sudden halt with your person. I don't feel there's any communication. It's kind of in limbo. It's like this connection is frozen in time. And uh, not for much longer, Libra. We have a massive awakening to this. I feel that the, you're, you're feeling something shift in the energies. But you're also, again, not trying to pay attention to, it, to pay attention to it. You're trying to stay in your own lane because of what's happened with this deception and this karmic energy in the past here. Okay? And the conflict that you're just taking your cup right out of the situation. You're not even going to deal with it. And this tower with this lovers, it was a huge awakening for you. <sighs> Clarify this tower with the lovers. That's some heavy energy, guys. Yeah, suppressing the truth. The truth is coming to the surface, especially with this emperor. Clarify this emperor, the masculine energy. Seven, yeah, waiting around. Waiting around for this masculine to see the truth was creating a massive injustice. That's not balance for you, Libra. And you're like, screw that. I'm not waiting around for someone to see the justice and where they've gone wrong. So what's going on with this masculine energy then? They rejected the truth. And it caused a huge, you know, breakdown in this lovers and this relationship here. Wow. Look at what came out. Spirit wants me to take it. We have now the masculine is surrendered and wanting to return. They've been hanging on and want to talk to you. They've been going within about why they pulled back. And they want to have some difficult conversations about they've been hanging on to you. And they want to have some difficult conversations as to why they are 
closed off here with that page of swords and the hermit something has awakened this connection has awakened this emperor there's a lot of regret that's happening here let's take a look at the seven of wands because we have the king of pentacles in reverse with the knight of pentacles so there's been stuck energy and somebody is uh not grounded in their life right now financially they're having trouble in their own life i feel like they're having trouble in their money they're having trouble in their family life and their foundation and their business and whatever it is we have three of wands in reverse it wasn't what this person expected and i feel because you've been doing this work libra this is affecting your person that's really what i'm getting here yeah they're wounded completely wounded warrior nine of wands in reverse and wanting to come towards that king that queen of pentacles we have counterparts here they're unstable without their queen. They want to passionately come forward and action this now. I don't know if you feel the same anymore, Libra. Like, I'm almost feeling like you're so focused on your life that you found a new level of happiness. You're like, I'm like so happy in my life. Like, I've hit a sweet spot is kind of what I'm getting. Or you're getting there because you fought hard for this. You fought hard and trained hard to move forward. And now you're like, what? So now this person just wants to come and reap all the benefits from me? Like, I feel like you're kind of like, I don't know if I want that. I think you're, you're, you're so focused on yourself now. But I think this person might surprise you. We'll see. Let's see about this five of wands. You've been fighting hard for your new beginning. And spirit sees how hard, yeah, to get a new beginning started. It hasn't quite started yet. Something passion has ignited in you. You're moving. I feel like you found something creative or you found something within yourself that's bringing you joy. But the whole new beginning hasn't fully like come forward yet, but you're feeling it. You're feeling it. You're like something is coming. So you're this two of wands. You're like, yes, I'm feeling this new beginning coming. Where is it? Like you're, you, you know that something is happening here. Again, the two of wands. <laughs> so you know something is happening here. You're contemplating about how to completely move forward on this new path with that page of wands. So something passion has ignited in you, but we have the ace and we have the page. So that there's going to be an offer or there's going to be a new spiritual path that completely unfolds to get things started because it hasn't quite started. You haven't had to take a full leap of faith yet into something. And I think that's what you've been in training for. Ten of swords with the ten of wands in reverse. Wherever the betrayal was, somebody has to take responsibility for the frustrations that have happened what are these frustrations to take responsibility who has to take responsibility for these frustrations to end entrapment so this stalemate that's been happening with your counterpart because i feel like you're almost like looking for new libra i almost feel like you want something else if this person can't match your vibe because i feel like you've started to cultivate a new vibration and you're like this is so much better than where i was right and i feel because of that what's happening is if this person comes back you're like prove it prove it <laughs> like i need to see grounded masculine and i don't want to i don't want wishy-washy dreams and promises that's what i'm getting from you libra you're like that's what this king of um pentacles was in reverse because here's the divine feminine here she's grounding her stuff this masculine's not grounding shit like, are you going to come with your sweet talk? Or are you going to come with like actual real, like tang something tangible? Like, I don't want some, I don't want your wishy-washy dreams. You know, I want to see proof. I feel like you want it proven to you. And you deserve that Libra. You deserve that because this person, you know, with that lovers and the tower, like that's some heavy energy that happened. And yeah, see, someone wants to come with this king of wands here and return to the past. Someone from the past. Because they have failed in their own life of what they wanted, what they thought they wanted. So listen. This is where I have, I have the same issues, Libra. Like, especially if my twin came back, I'd be like, friggin' prove it, dude. You treated me like shit. Like, you have a lot of explaining to do. And I think these masculines know that they do. But it gives them a chance to grow and level up and surrender and be humble to the feminine energy. Because it's the feminine that's rising on the planet now. And I feel they went after the Nine of Cups because this may have been too hard for them. But you did the hard work. You took this, you took these little bits of energy from the ethers and you focused on this one brilliant light and you turned it a star into a glowing sun. You know what I'm saying? Like all stars are suns, but you made it into a giant sun. You know, like you took a little star and gave it more fuel and it just blew up basically. 
you know, yeah, the, as I'm saying the sun, look at this, <laughs> the sun comes out, like you elevated yourself into a place of, out of your being stuck, not depending on anybody but yourself, Libra, you did it, the sun, as I'm saying the sun, you're uh, illuminated, you are illuminated. And this king of wands thinks that they can come in and just suck up that light. So be careful because you may not want this and you've worked hard. You know how hard it is to work for that type of illumination, right? Yeah. They're not getting a renewal in their life. Judgment. They're having doubts that you would even want this relationship anymore. They may, this may have been a missed opportunity, but I feel like you're going to hear from them. They're very imbalanced. They're going to have to heal. Yeah. They don't want it to end. So they're rushing in. They don't want it to end. They want a rebirth. And they don't know how else to get a rebirth. They're abandoned. They feel left out. They feel stupid for leaving you. They want to end their pain here. The illusions. They're dreaming about a reunion. So they're just in fantasy mode. I don't know how tangible this person is coming in. But they're, they're de you guys are definitely in separation. They've been trying to heal. But they've only been able to heal with this four of swords to a certain extent. And I think you've been feeling it, but you're not trying to pay attention to the energy, Libra. And you're like, bring it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's pull some cards. Um, I'm going to pull some romance angels here. What is going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? I just want to take a look at the timer on that. Yeah, we're at the, we're at the right time. What is going on for Libra? Thank you. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on for Libra? What is going on for Libra? Yeah, I feel this person has a lot of remorse, but I still think they have a lot of growth to do. So, I mean, take it as it resonates, Libra. Um, I feel like if, if somebody matched, I feel like you've let go of labels and I feel that you are attracting, exactly, you are attracting somebody that's willing to put the effort in. I don't think you, you care if Twin Flame or not. I think you've done this work whatever has happened in the past with your counterpart, because I believe you have met your twin or someone of a high caliber of frequency that's meant for you, but something devastating has happened and you're, you've done the work and you're ready for real love and you're ready to make the effort with somebody who is attracted to you naturally and who's going to match your vibration because you don't have to be with your twin. You know, of course it's amazing, but remember you want somebody that's already done the work. Like your twin may not be ready and it would be very magical if they did the work and they came back and did the work that would be like out of this world, but not everybody is there. So we have forgiving and learning that popped up here, Libra. This person may come back, may just want forgiveness too. So you'll have to see how this plays out. Let me know for sure. Um, we have unrequited love. They showed you unrequited love. They pretended. I feel it's per yeah, worth waiting for. I feel they pretended they may have chosen like a wedding or somebody else. And now they're like, yeah, and it was a deception. And you knew that they were lying. They couldn't admit their feelings for you. Let your friends help you let go control of let go of control issues and chemistry. They were lying. And now, you know, you they may be trying to get friends, maybe local friends, friends that are in your same group or be asking their own friends for help about how they can let go of control because they're completely attracted to you here. But I don't I don't know if you're feeling it, Libra. Like, I'm not sure if I'm feeling it from your end, Libra. This could be true love. I think you knew that this could this is true love. But there's a lot of making up to happen is what I'm feeling. This is past life could be past life. Past love doesn't mean that it's a good thing, okay? Yeah, you may um, be waiting also for a new love to come in to enhance into this engagement. And if that's the case, then so be it. Because it could be between a past love and a new love comes in. You may have a choice between two people. You're focused on your finances and career. You're like, I'm just working on this stuff. You've retreated from the world and you've learned how to pay attention to the red flag. So you're calling in your soulmate, somebody that's willing to express their love to you. And I feel that if this is your twin, and this is how it happens in twins, when you finally hit that place, oh my, come back. <laughs> or their life falls apart, and they don't know why. And then they're like, damn. Let's get some angel answers. Let's see what the angel answers have to say. Let's see. Um, ask a yes or no if you feel drawn to that. We'll see what is going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What is going on for Libra, please? What is going on for Libra? Let's see, for Libra. Yep, 
big happy changes are coming romance is coming so yeah i definitely feel like a huge this is too much <laughs> um a huge thing is happening here for you we have be assertive and big happy changes because you've been assertive in your own life libra okay so there's definitely something happening here there's definitely romance and recovery that is happening here so that's really awesome let's take a look yeah there's abundance here for you so whatever has happened there's definitely something new that's coming in. Could be with your counterpart. Maybe it's not. Maybe your counterpart comes in. Somebody else comes in. But whatever is it is, what's happening is like you're in a vibrational match for a real something really amazing because you've done your work. And that's really what, what I'm seeing here. Spirit is saying, yes, that is the truth. I'm going to leave it at that, Libra. So much love. That is your reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Enter my sweepstakes. You want to work with me. All that info is down below. Comment. I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comments. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.